Welcome, everyone. This is Zach Davis on The Tonight Show with Patrick Phillip, Dan Jackson, and Tyler Parker. Guys, the season just concluded about, oh, I don't know, like four months ago. What can you tell me about this year for you guys? It was awesome. We went out with a bang, we enjoyed our company, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. Dan, you made about 3,000 saves this year. <laughs> What's it like being the shortest goalie in Division One soccer? It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> I embraced it, um, but I had a great team behind me. And uh, talk about your height, not the me. saves. <laughs> well, I don't know. This is just how God's made me. That's a great answer. Tyler, you're pretty height deprived. I mean, tell me about that playing for the team also. Yeah, so I was pretty much the shortest guy on the roster. Thanks, Tyler. TBR great, thank you. <laughs> now, Patty, your hair looks great, by the way. Thanks, man. Worked really I mean, hard on it this morning. I know you did. You work on it hard every day, especially before practice and games and anything that Half you have time. to do. Exactly. So uh, what can you tell me about our teammate, Joey Cutting? Joey Cutting. Well, what don't we know about him? I think everyone knows everything about the guy. He's Mr. Uh, Mr. Charisma. Really friends with all of you, I'm sure. You all know something about him. He knows something about you guys. Just ask him. He'll tell you everything you want to know. That is true. I did talk to him the other day, and he told me all about his life. It was quite interesting. Sorry to hear that. Dan, also another thing. Uh, this fall, didn't you go blonde? Yeah, that was crazy. Was that, what was that experience like? Um, it was all natural. I just kind of got some lemons and squeezed it in the top of my head. You know, you know how it went, right? No, nah, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> blonde hair. So do, do blondes do it better? I think blondes have a little more fun. Yeah, yeah a little more fun. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's classified. Tyler, what can you tell me about Dan Jackson? Well, he was the first person I met here. Wow. And, uh, you know, I, I saw him go through a lot of different phases. His freshman year, he was eating straight cookout milkshakes and peanut butter. <laughs> and then sophomore year, he went into his insanity grind with Sean T, who he almost married. Um, <laughs> then junior year... He went into his Vima stage, and I know he tried to get some of y'all to sign up, and I apologize for him. Um, I think now, with Daniel, you can admit it was a pyramid scheme. And then senior year, greatest year of our, of our life. Why well, was the greatest year of your life? Well, made it back on the team, got to hang out with these boys every day, and, you know, we had a great season. Dan, what can you tell me about Pat Phillip? I'm not going to roast you, dude. You're a great friend, man. I've enjoyed my company with you, and it's been amazing to to take things from you and, and be able to implement those into my life, and I hope to come visit you in Texas, and I know we'll always stay in touch, um, and it's been an awesome four years, dude. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Now, a couple of the seniors aren't here. Can you guys give us some uh, words on AJ Imes? AJ, man. Great kid. Real great kid. He's uh, actually been an inspiration to me these past few years. Uh, really level-headed. He's been a great role model on and off the field. He's by example. Um, huge asset to the team and don't know what the team would have been without him. AJ is a great guy. I wish him the best of luck in everything that he's doing. Um, one more year left here, man. Go out with a bang. Enjoy it. Um, and lead these guys to victory. I'm really sorry about your joints too, by the way, bud. <laughs> Stay healthy, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes it, I think. We want to say thank you for listening in, and uh, hope these guys are successful in the next year or so, I guess, and whatever they do. Can you zoom in really fast for me? I, I, just want, to, I want to show everybody just a quick picture. Absolutely. Please show us. Is it about Tyler? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Can we just zoom in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <right> there. <laughs> there we go. Oh. That wraps it up. <laughs> Quentin, wow, I am absolutely so happy that I get to do this for you. Um, once you asked me, you know, I said, absolutely, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to give you a nice encouragement of words to leave on behalf of you. Um, you know, I'm so proud of everything that you've done, Q, and I just want to go over a couple of things real quick um, to talk about your accomplishments here in the past couple of years. So first, let's talk about your hair, buddy. You got from a Cheeto level, and you actually created dreadlocks. And I am so proud of you for that. I commend you, Quentin. You know, next, you know, I talked, we talk about everything like soccer and talk about our friendships. You know, I talked to a bunch of the boys, and 
You know, they talked about when you first came in here, you actually didn't know how to kick a soccer ball. But you know what? You're going to leave here, you're going to leave UNCA barely knowing how to kick a soccer ball. And I commend you for that, Quentin. You know, also, Q, like, I can't express to you how famous you are now. You're on the UNCA commercial. You are the face of UNCA, basically. And you know what? That is amazing. And everyone should stand up and clap for you. But none of us are going to do that right now. So you know what, Q? I just want to talk about one thing, though. Just because you saw yourself on a, com a commercial during the roast of Justin Bieber on Comedy Central does not mean that you made it. But I'm still very proud of you for being on that commercial. Last thing, Q, you are one of the smartest people that I know. Kind of. But the point being is, your smarts have helped me in the classroom. You've helped me do my homework. And I want to say thank you so much for that. But always remember this. You're not the smartest because Jeannie and Leah are always going to be the smartest. They even have an article on the UNCA website about them, how they're going to med school. Where's yours, buddy? I'm just kidding, Q, man. I love you to death. Thanks for being a great friend since day one. And, you know, you're going to do awesome. You're going to be really successful and good luck in everything that you do.